Hello everyone, today we have a <laughs> Suka. Hello everyone, today we have a repair. That's actually is for me also a pretty beautiful card. That's a 10, uh, 60 GTX and 60 from a company Gigabyte. Pretty beast card, but 6 GB version. And uh, for its price, that's a pretty decent card. Uh, what is going right now? It, and it also, it a little bit reminds me combination BMW W and the Venom, probably. But okay, so this card came to me. Oh, actually, it came to me with no story. Customer didn't leave, no messages, no uh, notes about this graphic card, so I'm assuming it doesn't work. And uh, yes, this card uh, actually been a while with me, and uh, I just slightly had a pick on it. I haven't done anything on it yet, but from what I remember, it doesn't have... We won't have any big challenge with this uh, graphic card. So, as always, we're gonna confirm a problem and uh, try and fix it. And now we monitor. Looks everything good. Okay. I saw a postcode 98, so basically we won't even have a power to our GPU and how we see there is no picture, fans not spinning and um, yeah, stacks on our beautiful 2E which is initialization our uh, PCI slot uh, That's the sample How I said, I already had a pick on this graphic card and uh, what I noticed is uh, if we launch our graphic card God damn it, really? My motherboard just died. And um, let's see what it does. So it tries to turn on, but eventually, uh, yeah, it doesn't. And how we can see, all our main by postcard, all our main powers are good. And multi multi, multi controller does his job. Uh, we can go all all over <coughs> uh, power goods, uh, but. Uh, let's uh, start from something obvious, which is uh, basically measuring all our keys to air processor. And this one is good. 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 This one is good. Good. Okay, ringing. Good. Good. Mm -hmm, good. And this one is supposed to be good too because this one in parallel with this one. Um, so uh, what it looks like, this one is went out. And uh, I actually already found a similar one, uh, the closest one that I could have on me. Uh, the only one characteristics is different is uh, uh, resistance between uh, uh, our drain to source, and that's actually very important characteristic to our uh, when we have a. Uh, Pulse converter power uh, because that's characteristic uh, direct, directly proportional to how our transistor is gonna heat up. Uh, but unfortunately, there's nothing what I can do. That the only one I have. Now we first try, let's start it up without a processor. Cool. It does not shut off. Unfortunately, I don't have another graphic card to test it out on our uh, motherboard, but so long so far our motherboard does a job and once we get fixed, hopefully our graphic card we will test it out and our motherboard and a graphic card itself. Oh, let's, uh, let's see what it does. Our chip is not getting hot, and uh, therefore we can keep measuring our power. So, now I said I slightly had a look on this uh, uh, graphic card, and I started measuring from our main powers, and uh, 
12 volts from our PCI connector we have it. Other main powers what we have is uh, those two phases and this is our 5 volts from our uh, liner stabilizer and 12 volts from our PCI uh, express slot and we have here 0 or oh, 0, uh, 1.2 volts uh, which is not enough. This phase, uh, by the way, at least powered up our drivers, which power up our memory. Uh, therefore, obviously, we won't have our or either some millivolts will go through, or we don't have at all our memory, uh, which we're supposed to have 1.5 volts. And yeah, obviously, we will we won't have our cheap uh, powers either. First of all, let's check it out if we have any shorts on this phase. We have more than 4 kilo ohms, which is more than perfect for this phase and uh, therefore what it looks like, we have a voltage drop before this coil and uh, we just have to see where it, it leads it leads to what it looks like to this uh, breaking resistor and uh, this resistor, uh, how I said, that's a breaking resistor and supposed to be about ohm or ohm uh, and or less than an ohm and uh, let's see what's resistance over here and we have more than three three and a five kilo ohms yeah so uh, yeah most likely and if we start up our computer uh, motherboard we can see that on in we have 12 volts and on out we have 1.2 volts and therefore about 10 volts is dropping on this resistor so uh, let's re replace this resistor and uh, see what changes Let's test it out. Here shouldn't be any other options. Other options. It should work. It should work. And uh, picture two, three, three. Yes. Uh, okay. We have a picture. And crystal really getting hot. Before we run it, uh, stress test on it. Uh, also, what I notice about here is there. Uh, cooling system is kind of broke off and it looks everything just disgusting uh, yeah we're gonna replace it and uh, uh, fix it up our fan as well and then we will test it out our card So long so far everything is good on this card and I already ran 
uh, a couple stress tests, played a couple of games, so no issues were found. Uh, yeah, the all temperatures making me happy. Um, and uh, driver was installed perfectly fine. Um, yeah, we can count this graphic card as fixed. Please put likes, dislikes, or put your thoughts beneath the in the comment section. And um, of course, subscribe. Thank you so much.